How to create wireframes in Figma 2024 step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to create wireframes in your Figma in the easiest, and most simplest way possible. Okay, so this amazing software allows you to create wireframe prototypes. Okay, and uh, basically user interfaces so in this tutorial i'm going to guide you into the steps of creating the best wireframes using figma's initiative interface and powerful features so let's get started now before we start this video please do make sure to watch it till the end so you can get the full idea and experience of all this so first let's start by opening whatever browser you're having so i'm going to open my browser up click on figma.com and once you write figma.com it's going to bring you into the whole Figma section over here. Now to sign in with Figma, it's uh, pretty easy. You're simply going to click on get started for free. What you're going to do is you're simply going to go ahead into your email section and you're going to add any email that you want to get started with. So I'm going to add mine over here. Then you have your password. I'm going to add my password in real quick as well. There we go. And finally click on create account. So that sets you in for creating an account. Now the account creation process is really simple. The onboarding it takes you through. So now it tells us to check our inbox because it sent us a verification. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna do that right now. And when you get the confirmation email or the verification email, you're simply gonna verify it. And once you verify it, it takes you into the you know dashboard from there. So let me show you what the dashboard is going to look like. OK, so this is what the dashboard basically looks like. OK, this is uh, how the whole vibe of the dashboard goes. Let me just uh, close this one over here. And yeah, here we are. So this sets up into the dashboard. It's uh, pretty simple to, as I said, work with the dashboard. You're just going to go ahead and add your name. So let's say I'm going to add my name over here. You're going to click on continue. What kind of work do you do? So obviously, in my case, I'm going to go with design. So do any of these describe your work? I'm going to go with freelancer. What do you usually collaborate with? I'm going to go with uh, myself. You can obviously send invites to people. What brings you to Figma today? I'm going to go with uh, just for fun. And have you used Figma products before? I'm going to go with, let's go with yes a few times. And now it's going to give you the plans. Obviously, right now we're just going to stay with a free one. And it says, what would you like to do first? I'm going to go with design with Figma. Or you can just skip this and get straight into the course over here. Now, what you're going to do over here is we're going to first of all go ahead and click on design file. And uh, you're going to create a new design file. Now, I already have a design file over here, so I'm just going to start this up. So this is a new design example. And at the top right corner, you can simply go and click to create a new Figma file for yourself or a new design. OK, and uh, it's really simple to use this. Obviously, the Figma interface is going to be a bit difficult at the start. But trust me, once you familiarize yourself with all of this, it's going to make a lot of sense. So to start making wireframes, you are going to want to make sure to have a proper idea of how you're going to use the panels. So first of all, we're going to come over to the rectangle section and I'm going to create small rectangles over here and I'm going to create one under this as well. OK, and uh, you can actually zoom into these. So what do I mean by zooming into these? You can uh, simply go ahead and uh, go over here. I'm going to go zoom to 200 and I'm going to scroll over here. And as you can see, we have the design right here. And now to create your wireframes, first of all, I'm going to have my shapes. Obviously, you can increase their sizes, increase their um, orientations. I'm just going to keep this over here like this. I'm going to turn this one into a square. OK, I'm going to bring this here. Then you have different shapes like circles and all. So I'm going to add a, an ellipse or a circle over here. There we go. Then you have a triangle. Let's add that as well or a polygon, whatever you want to call it. Once you have these, make sure that these are closed in with each other. There we go. Now, once you do this, you can also add uh, arrows for yourself when it comes to shapes. So I'm going to add uh, this arrow over here and I'm going to add one arrow. Let's add another line. You know, let's add a normal line over here like this. 
Now, to you know, actually boost consistency and efficiency, you can go and add different elements for yourselves into the designs as well. So to actually add different wireframe prototypes and designs in this, you can showcase your view in different forms and formats. And as I said, you can add in different built-in images, different built-in formats for yourself. So how can you do that for yourself? So you can come over to prototype and uh, you can go into show prototype settings. First of all, you can uh, choose a device as well that you want this for. So first of all, there's gonna be a black background. Let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the background white. And here's the prototype that you can actually check this stuff out on. And there's different devices that you can, you can also use uh, its orientation. Uh, you can go with the different models for the phone. You know, whatever you want to go with, you can actually check the prototypes that you want to design it in. You can even mess with the prototypes of the actual shape. Okay. And uh, this basically allows you to check the prototype of the actual shape. You can work with the prototype of the actual shape. And, you know, your wireframes are just a general idea of how you are going to mess with the work. And you can actually make it uh, into a, you know, borderless image if you want to. You can actually go ahead and uh, add, you know, different arcs of uh, for your circle. You can create it into a semicircle if you want to, create different arcs like this. You know, so these basically allow yourselves to create inter interactions with different inputs. You can also go ahead and add hyperlinks into these. And to add hyperlinks, you are going to need to have plugins for yourself. Uh, bring it to back, bring it to front use outlines for your strokes if you want to so yeah that's the general idea of how we're going to be creating wireframes in figma now obviously in the start figma is you know a bit uh, you could say uh, difficult to get your head around but trust me the more you use it the more it makes sense to you and the more it makes sense the more easier it makes itself to use for you so yeah so as we can see, Wireframe is a simple visual guide that represents the skeletal framework of a website or a digital product. So think of it as a blueprint for your final design. So you're going to create this layout and a UI by adding these things and uh, checking the whole thing through the prototype over here. And you can see the whole prototype in your designs by, uh, you know, actually checking out the designs. And uh, let's say I'm going to click on zoom to 100 so that's your design and uh, you can think of it as the blueprint and that is basically how you're going to create a wireframe in figma so thank you for watching and i'll see you all of you next time goodbye